Good morning everyone and happy Saturdays and welcome to a brand new vlog. It's a very exciting day today. It's obviously the first day of the Premiership. So um, as I said in the last vlog, it's uh, Brighton versus Luton at Brighton and um, Newcastle versus Villa up at Newcastle. So I don't really like either chances as I said earlier, but so I've got a busy day. I've already been to the manor because I've been to collect something today. And this is on recommendation of Michael Rack and uh, or Rick, Michael Rack. Might as well open the show, eh? <laughs> Look, the little things that go on top of your water bottle for potash. So we'll try them up off the allotment. That's where I'm off to now. Um, I need to do some of the kind of the cinematic footage for the opening of episode six. So hence the cinema camera. And that's about it. So I am going to head off now. Woohoo! I'll tell you what, the old... Um, Marina's really busy, like cars wise. There's no parking up here, up at the top here or the bottom. Um, there just seems to be loads of people here. I don't know what's going on really, because there's not loads of boats moving about or anything like that. So I'm not quite sure what's going on. I think it's still because of the bridge. Although the bridge has been fixed now for more than a week, um, it hasn't been fixed, <laughs> if you know what I mean, because the programming person hasn't come in to um, work out the swing timing and all that lot of sort of stuff. <laughs> swing time, I say. Haven't done any swinging for many, many years. I haven't ever done it, to be fair. Flipping heck, everyone. It's proper windy up here today. So um, I've done all my watering and stuff. Everything looks all right. So now, obviously, I've got to get back to the boat. Rescue the mighty hound, because I left him on the boat. I thought, well, just leave him there for now, because I've only been up here half hour or so. Woo -hoo -hoo! So yeah, because obviously I've got some football to watch. I really enjoy coming up the allotment, to be honest. It's like a nice little getaway. It's nice to see the stuff growing, of course. Signs of life and all that. Should we have a little chat on the way home? Nothing bad. I was just, uh, I was out a little while ago um, when I went to the manor. And on the way back, I turned on to um, Gayton Road, uh, which is fairly near the boat. There's a little bridge on it. And a couple of cyclists were there, my well, three cyclists. And um, they knew I was behind them. And yet two of them decided they're gonna ride a abreast on a country lane and I you know now look, I'm a cyclist as well now remember so um oh, let's just get out of there yeah I'm a cyclist as well now so I've got nothing against cyclists but I do have something against arrogant cyclists and I see it so often and I think just get out of the way why are you doing it because you know some angry people one day it would really wouldn't surprise me if someone just twats them honestly because sometimes I mean I'm, I'm you know I'm quite a nice person but even I feel like you know get out of the way you weirdos so yeah what do you think about that why do some cyclists ride two abreast when they know there's a car behind them why don't they get over to one side and actually just do the right thing and let the car go past I don't know and it normally is the ones in Lycra you know honest Oh dear, you wouldn't want to see me in Lycra. Goodness me, I'd be like the only gay in the village. Am I allowed to say that anymore? Probably not. <laughs> anyway, I'm so excited. I know you know I'm a nutter, but I'm so excited. I bet I don't get a blooming dodgy stream, <laughs> so I won't be able to watch some games. <laughs> oh dearie me. <sighs> I'll tell you what I did discover actually. Now this is a bit off topic. But well it isn't off topic actually because a few people have asked me about our internet and said oh I should do this should get that and do this and that and that because of our slow internet speeds. Okay. We do have some arty. 
on our Wi-Fi in the boat, which is a router. So that's proper, you know, mobile. It's a mobile broadband, but everything on the boat can log into it. So it's a router with a, a chip in it, a SIM card, sorry. And Smart, if you don't know, is a three network. Now I get, sometimes I get one bar, sometimes I get two bars, but we're lucky if we get over 10 megabits, megabytes a second thing you do, da. Quite often we're talking between one and two. And the worst thing, that isn't the worst thing, it's the upload speed. So when you're uploading a YouTube video, it genuinely takes all night. Now on my phone, the O2 network is my phone, and it can literally be, I'll sit in the front of the boat or near the cratch, and it will show that I've got 3G or 4G. Normally 4G, but every now and again it just slips back to 3G, and I don't understand what that's about. And a speed of about, when it's on 4G, not much different than Smarty, maybe a tad, tad faster, maybe three or four, okay? Megabytes per second or megabits. I never know whether it's megabits or megabytes, but it is meg, it? Anyway, then sometimes I'll sit out at the naughty bench, okay, and I get 5G. And sometimes that will then go up to about 20 to 30 megabits, megabytes a second, which is a bit more acceptable. Now, obviously, I can't sit out on the naughty bench all the time trying to upload videos because it's flaky anyway. It, it, you know, it, it go, the speeds go up and down quite rapidly, to be honest with you. So in this particular area where I am, I think the trees are a hindrance because well, obviously we've got a lovely mooring, but the trees are a hindrance, there's no doubt about that. Because naughtily I chopped a few down and we got a bit of a better signal. <laughs> and I did speed the internet out because it had gone down to a right crawl. So um, it is a little bit better now. But um, yesterday, when we went, or was it yesterday? No, day before yesterday, it was Thursday, when I went to Marks and Spencer's with Lee, we were at the checkout and I noticed we had 5G. So I thought, let's do a speed test then because I've got that Ookla thing on my, um, on my phone. And there, which is near Sixfields in Northampton, I had two, nearly 300 megabits bytes thingy do a second and an upload speed of around 40. I need to go and sit outside Marks and Spencers <laughs> to upload our videos <laughs> and download naughty things. Anyway, yeah, so it's very inconsistent. So just because you've got 5G sometimes, your phone might be showing 5G, don't mean it's fast, as I've witnessed here at the marina. And what's it doing to our minds? Is it microwaving us here from the inside? <laughs> I'm not sure about the things with 5G. I, I honestly think what 5G is honestly for is um, because they needed increased data to um, track everyone because they couldn't do that on 4G. So, um, yeah. The, the bandwidth wasn't big enough, so by putting 5G on it, they could pretty much track every single person in the country. I wonder why they would want to do that. Mm. Yep, that's where we're heading, folks. Keep spending cash. Never let cash disappear, even if you think it's convenient just to use cards and electronic payments. It bloody well isn't, because you lose cash, then they have complete and utter control over you. And that's not Tim Fallout at all. That's fact. So be careful what you wish for, fellas and girls, guys and girls, whatever. Anyway, I'm back at the boat. I'm gonna go and see the mighty hound. I bet he's gonna go mental. Should we have a look? Have you been a good boy? Have you been a good boy? Have you been a good boy? Have you been mighty? Have you been mighty? Yeah, I'm sure you have. It's funny how he shakes his head because he hurts his own ears when he barks. Anyway, see you in a bit, boy. Well, I'm glad I went up the allotment this morning because it's uh, turned into a bit of a horrible day. It looks a bit brighter again behind me just as I decided to set up the camera, but just over there, it's um, proper leaden skies. So I just had a downpour of rain. Lee's just got soaked running over at Sue's boat from their tier two, but it's nearly three because Lee was late. And uh, it's the wind, and I really do feel sorry for the holiday makers who are going out on the hire boats when this is their um, baptism of fire. Um, the wind is is not good on a, on a narrowboat, especially I can't imagine how bad it is on a 60, 65 foot. It's bad enough on a 45. So um, yeah, that's, that's such a shame for them because it's it's not cheap, you know. I tell you, it's not cheap at all. But anyway, yeah. So I'm uh, just about settling down, ready for me football. 
I've refrained from drinking any beer because um, I'd be drunk before I even start when I get overexcited you see and it's too much of a long day so um, uh, I'd normally be sitting here well not normally but a couple of years ago I was sitting here with Derek when I in the cratch and uh, we'd have been had, had a few pints by now so um, yeah I've been a good boy so far I'll wait till kickoff um, my brother went down at 6.30 in the morning this morning he caught the 6.30 train from um, Bedford down to Brighton <laughs> so uh, so he's obviously had breakfast in Weatherspoons, if you know what I mean. So goodness, goodness knows what my brother's like now. He loves his football, so yeah, so he managed to get a ticket for it. So yeah, I'm guessing he's a little bit woozy now. <laughs> I'll tell you. Anyway, my prediction. In honesty, I think Luton will probably lose 3-0. That's, that's my honest bet, but I, if they could get a draw. I know I said it earlier, but come on. I'll tell you. So quite exciting times. Um, yeah, that's about it for now. I say, spare a thought for the old narrow boaters going out in this weather. Higher boaters. Bye. Well, it is half time in the sports day, and um, I predicted Luton would lose 3 0, didn't I? But we lost 4 1, so I got the goals difference correct. But yeah, but I have to say, there's a lot of new rules in there now with yellow cars and all this non contact bullshit. And I have to say, it's become so gay. Football, it's just, Premiership football is so gay compared to lower league football. Honestly, I'm allowed to say that. Obviously, I'm not allowed to say that. But I don't give a shit. It is gay. And well, that's in Brighton anyway. So, they, I mean, they're used to going down on each other in, in bloody Brighton anyway, aren't they? Oh, I'll tell you, honestly, honestly, it, it really peeves me that football used to be a proper geezer's game, didn't it? A little bit of heebie-jeebie in there, a bit of fun, you know, a little elbow here and there. And now they're just a load of homo wankers. Sorry, I haven't sworn in the vlog for, over, for ages, have I? Well, I might have done a little bit, but fucking hell. Honestly, I don't hold much hope for Villa, uh, Newcastle versus Villa either. But I hope that's not as a, such a gay game. Sorry and all that for you lot that are gay, but it was gay. Simple as that, bye. Ooh, <laughs> that's a painful Saturday, I'd say. So, um, yeah, Luton a third bottom and Villa a bottom. <laughs> I tell you, it's all too much. Um, Luton kind of expected it Villa come on and uh, there's, a, there's a double standard with the Villa although I'm bitter obviously I despise Newcastle absolutely hate Newcastle all this Saudi money that's been pumped into it and just think about what the Saudi um, regime pumps into the you know think about what they represent sorry yeah Let's hang a few gays off some buildings. Let's bugger human rights and all that sort of shit. It's okay. It's the Premiership. Don't worry about it. You know, you can still wear your rainbow laces. You can still put your rainbows on your flags, on the corner flags and all that lot. Because you're virtue signaling. But yeah. Think about it. Come on. Think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Does wind me up. Bye. Happy Mondays, everyone. Are we going out? Yeah. Where are we going, Lee Lawson? We're going to Milton Keynes. Hmm, what are we going to Milton Keynes for? <laughs> We're going to the Apple Store. Not for me. <laughs> for a change. Everyone thinks it's for me, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Why are we going to the Apple Store? <laughs> well, it's your mum's birthday, but she's bought me a present. <laughs> <laughs> and what has she bought you? <laughs> she's bought me a new Apple Watch. So, I tell you. <laughs> Thank you. Isn't that amazing? I've got to tell you a little story about my mum, all right, because it's quite funny. It is her birthday, so obviously I phoned her this morning and we sang happy birthday to her. But then uh, she was talking about, what was she talking about initially? She got something. Oh, she went to the car boot sale. Yeah, she went to a car boot sale and she said she bought one of them, she, there, them, she bought one of them there gazebo things, yeah? one of them long musical things. <laughs> and it's what, <laughs> a gazebo? A gazebo. And, uh, and uh, it turned, I said, what, what do you mean, a long, a wooden thing that you play music on? And then she said, a didgeridoo, <laughs> I said to her. And she goes, yeah, didgeridoo. I said, what on earth did you buy that for? And she said, ah, oh, well, the fella was such a nice fella now. So, um, I don't know why I'm doing an Irish accent because my mum speaks English unless she's talking to someone Irish. But yeah, she bought it because the bloke was a nice bloke. And he bought, she bought some sticks from him as well. She bought some sticks. What sticks walking, did she buy? Oh, yeah, some sticks, walking so sticks. I, That's I what it was. Like yeah, like poles. the um, um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy sticks. <laughs> You know what I mean, Ramblyers. <laughs> anyway, that's my mum. <laughs> she's brilliant. So yeah, 78, I tell you. You'd never know that she's 78, I swear to God. 
Well, you saw her on the video earlier, didn't you, I think? So yeah, she's sprightly as heck, isn't she? <laughs> and mad as a box of frogs. That's why we love her so much. We do. Right, bye. Bye. Lee's forgotten how to get Milton Keynes and she's put a sat nav on, we had to stop. It's all too much. I know how to get to Milton Keynes here, but with all the road closures around here, I was just checking. Well, you should have gone the other way anyway. You should have gone up Cortina Hall Road, shouldn't you? Huh? If you want to go A5, I know you've got to go to Stoke Brewing, haven't you? Yes, but I wasn't sure whether the road was open. Uh. Well, I came back that way on Friday. Bye. Bye. You're excited, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> you are excited, aren't you? I am excited. There's music in the background and that messes up YouTube for us, <laughs> so I'll have to turn the camera off. But yeah, where are we? Midsummer Place, Milton Keynes. We're going downstairs, bye. Or oh, shall I say bye? No, we'll have a little look. Oh, look, we can't get in there. That's all I just said. I wonder if we're about to get down there now. Uh -huh. They don't want us to go shopping. <laughs> where did those people appear from? Then? No idea. Yeah, well, how do we get out then? We obviously went the wrong way because over there in the background, can you see it says shops? <laughs> oh dear. They must have gone to that machine and then I saw them walking ah. from there, so that's why I assumed they come from those steps. Dooby dooby doo, I'm making some noise over the music so that we don't get told off by YouTube. <laughs> I'm telling you. Blooming pipes music everywhere, isn't it? Like? Ooh. <laughs> hey, what's happened to next? It's closed. Why is it closed? I don't know. Well, Debenhams was in there. And that was all closed. Then next took it over, and then they had all the makeup counters that used to be in Debenhams in there, but now it's all gone. Yeah. So uh, I think there's still a next up the other end. There's an Apple store there, isn't it? <laughs> and Lego. Mm, I like Lego. <laughs> Somehow I've ended up being dragged into new look, is it, Lee? Yes. <laughs> I just want some trousers for work. <laughs> oh, I don't. I sit in my pants most of the day. Mm, I don't think I'd hire them builders, Lee. <laughs> Are you? This is where the tree that was, I don't know, 100 years old and they managed to kill it. Oh. That's why this is open, because they had to make allowance for the tree and then somehow they killed it. Oh dear. And now they've got a stupid house. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, yes. how many blokes work there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I see a couple of girls. Oh, we can't misgender them. So they lied. Can we? Can't be doing none of that. Well, Lee's excited to get back now. She didn't even want to wander, really, did you? Apart no. from because she wants to play with her watch. Oh, that feels vibrating, doesn't it? It does. And now we're going to have to pay like three pounds to park here for what ten minutes. I oh, know it's ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> Can you read that on that trailer there? Scatalini. <laughs> Scats! Oh, I said Scatolini. It's obviously an Italian poo. <laughs> and now we're at the manor. I'll tell you. And we've intercepted the um, Amazon truck. So Lee's waiting inside because she's there's a parsley that needed a special number or something. I don't know. We might have a rant about that soon one day because it's getting on my nerves with all this. Double checking, check this, check that and everything to try and prove who you are. They've got your blooming card details. So it's just all too much. Anyway, I won't go off on there. Um, Look at the sheds over there. We need a shed. And um, we might have um, been to Booker's as well. <laughs> Bye. Traumatised. I am honestly, I am traumatised. This isn't even a joke, is it? 
and it's my own fault. So, you know, in my defence, Your Honour, I only cook for dinner. Well, we went to, and um, as you know, we went to Marks and Spencer's to get me mum stuff for her birthday. And uh, when we was in there, there was like, I don't know, you could have something for a eight quid. Or I don't know. Anyway, there was some Dover sole, was it? Lemon sole. Lemon sole. Lemon sole, right? Goujon. Goujon bollocks of things, right? Now, I don't really do fish, to be honest. I like cotton chips, but fish has a bit of a skanky taste, doesn't it? Anyway, so I thought, well, I'll give that a go. So we've had it tonight. <laughs> lemon sole. Well, for a start, it don't taste like lemons. It probably tastes more like the sole of your foot. But I'll tell you what, it tastes worse than the worst girl I've ever tasted. It was the most skanky thing. Oh, honestly, it was grim. I can't believe at least still eating it. And but well, shall I tell you? gave me all yours. Yeah, but shall I tell you what else was traumatising? I agreed also to have peas with it. And they're them little French things. Yeah, no, I'd say. I'm not, I'm not even joking. That tasted disgusting. I don't know how anyone can eat lemon salt. If that's what lemon sole tastes like. It's just a bit fishy. You don't really like fish that tastes like fish. Oh. You don't like fishy fish. It smells like an unwashed you know what. Doesn't it? It's like one of them when you go, you know when you get halfway down there, you think, oh, that's a bit ripe. And you get a load of spit in your mouth, ready. Uh, you mind? I'm eating my dinner. There's loads of blokes out there absolutely wetting themselves laughing. They say, no, exactly what I mean. It needs watering down, doesn't it, boys? Uh, See you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> but it was still grim, traumatised. Are you using your hair? What, in my hat? No, I just took my hood off. Oh! <laughs> you know what though, Lee? Oh. You know I was a bit traumatised. Yes. I'm even more traumatised. Oh no, what's happened now? Because I've just been for a wee in the boat, right? <laughs> and obviously I've had to walk through the kitchen. And shall I tell you what? Oh. It ta it not tastes. That's rude. It smells like a low-grade brothel. <laughs> How would you know what one of those smells like, dear? Because my mates used to tell me about it. <laughs> it, uh, it smells like skanky la-las. Well, well, I'll leave you the washing up while I go swimming. I'm not washing that. I'm not going anywhere near that. <laughs> Bye. Happy Tuesdays, everyone. Have a guess what, Lee? What? It's Hector's birthday. <laughs> He's four. Yes. There is the mightiness. We're going for a little wander, then he can open his presents.
<laughs> that is a little devil. So mighty, aren't you, Hector? So very mighty indeed. He's happy now. You can have your presents in a minute after I've had a cup of tea, Hector. Coffee. Hector, what's this? Are you what's opening this? your presents? We have to sing happy birthday first. Yeah. Ready, Hector? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hectorio, the mightiest of hounds. Happy birthday to you. Got Hector. Is it an iPad? <laughs> Ooh. You like sausages, don't you, Hector? Get those ones you can't open. I know. They're a nightmare, aren't they? Ooh. Good boy. So you don't go away, you think, hmm, that's only small. I'll stay for another one, shall I? <laughs> we never taught you how to um, sit. We did teach you how to sit. No, we didn't teach you how to put it on your head. <laughs> no, you have to... Wait. Wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's our fault for not teaching it that. <laughs> Lee? Yes? Have a guess where we're going. I don't know, where are we going? We're going to Dobby's. <laughs> we're not going to the manor. This is the third time we record this because an SD card was playing up in one of my cameras. So I'm doing it on my phone now. But yeah, we're going to get some compost from Dobby's because we need to dig it into the um, allotment. Uh, that's where we're going to go this afternoon but you're not going to be able to see any of that unless you watch the allotment adventures number seven because number six is just about finished so um that'll be being uploaded soon just thought you'd all like to know bye <laughs> you bye. didn't say yeah okay she did say bye eh? <laughs> oh that's all i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> hector's got another birthday present <laughs> are you tired lee <laughs> yes I've had another little day at the allotment. Yeah. It's been good fun, hasn't it? So you'll have to watch Adventures Thingy Do Down Number 7 to see what we've been up to. Should we go back now? Yes. I've got a couple of bits of work to do. Then it might work. Bugger that. I'm going to do me two little, two or three little jobs and it's beer o'clock. <laughs> Star of Pramming, I think I've got, haven't I? Something like that. Well, hey, some Czech nonsense. Bye. Bye. <laughs> have a guess what? What? You know what? <laughs> we're at the end of the vlog vlog. Are no, we at the end of the vlog? Have we done our 30 minutes? <laughs> I'm assuming. So what happens now? Oh, we like to say thank you. And we like to say please like and subscribe and press the bell. And so I'd go and buy me a coffee because there's not enough of you on there anymore. There's only got three. No one loves us anymore. <laughs> They're sick of us. <laughs> you get sh free shit on there. You get early releases. At, mind you, not many girls like an early release, do they? Not. <laughs> anyway, it's been a bit of a calmer vlog than last week, isn't it? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know what vlogs come from what vlog. What, I don't even know what we're on. No one knows what we're on, love, do they? <laughs> Was the last vlog Karen and all that lot? It must have been, yeah. Well, no, that just seems like... The mad weekend. Mental amounts of time ago, and it was a week... Well, it wasn't even a week ago yet. Was it a week ago? Yeah, it was just over a week ago. It was a good weekend, that was. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Hector absolutely loves his new chicken squeezy toy, <laughs> doesn't he? He absolutely loves it. We might not love it by tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, as Lee says, we all love you. Thank you for following us. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for commenting. We really do like your commenting. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. And if you haven't shared or subscribed or any of that lot, then why Please not? <laughs> it's free. Hector really does like his chicken. Squeaky squeak. Lee. <laughs> Do you like choking my chicken every now and again? <laughs> Say bye, Lee. Bye, Lee. <laughs> bye. See you in the next one. Ah!